everyone. Jim from Javelin here with another SolidWorks mating tip. This one's called Don't Mate Too Much, Even If It Seems Like a Good Idea. So I've got three blocks here, 300, 200, and 100 millimeters in length. And you can see it's pretty much fully mated except for this last part. So I'm just going to apply this last mate. And there we go. All done. The correct thing to do would be to close this file and move on to something else. But instead, I'm going to do something evil. I'm going to mate these two faces together. And look, it's giving me an error message. It's saying both of the selected components are already fully defined. So SolidWorks has a bit of, uh, bit of a safeguard built into it to keep me from doing something stupid. At least, to keep me from doing something stupid accidentally. Because it knows that I'm, uh, in this case, it knows that I'm trying to overmate this assembly. I don't always have this protection and I can also go in here and float the component so that they're now no longer fully defined and I can sneak that mate in. <laughs> and of course I can put it back on fixed and everything appears fine. I can put it back to the server and move on. But when one of my colleagues opens this up, blissfully unaware that it's actually overdefined, Although, or sorry, it's it's not so much that it's overdefined yet, but he goes in and he's going to change this to 150 millimeters. When he goes to rebuild, bah! this is because I've added too many mates. As is a simple example, but it demonstrates the point quite clearly that sometimes you need to think about about your mates as you're making them.